I'm Meshi Jack. I'm the 2006 winner of the UNESCO Guillermo Cano World Press Freedom Prize. I would like to congratulate this year's winner, Mr. Ahmad Izabadi, who is currently serving six years prison sentence in Iran for daring shedding light on what's occurring in his country. On this World Press Freedom Day, allow me to thank the participants in the audience and across the globe for supporting freedom of expression, especially with the growing role of digital and new media that gives us as journalists more freedom maybe, but put more exposure and risks on the profession. Querido Amad, desde Chile, un país que sabe lo que es luchar por la libertad de expresión, por la libertad, un país que sabe de los costos y cuyos periodistas han dado testimonio de ello. Te abrazamos, te abrazamos con emoción y nos sentimos orgullosos de que este año seas tú el galardonado con el premio Guillermo Cano. Un maravilloso ejemplo de, de lucha por la libertad en nuestro territorio americano. Gracias a Med Fuerza, Mónica González desde Chile. My name is Jeffrey Nyarota. I'm a journalist in Zimbabwe. I wish to congratulate Iranian journalist Ahmed Zaidabad, who is the 2011 laureate of the UNESCO Yulemo Kano. He cannot personally accept his award as he is currently incarcerated for six years. Ahmed has not committed any crime apart from campaigning for press freedom and the human rights of the people of his country. Hello, I am Lydia Cacho from Mexico. Today has been a day of celebration for the life of our courageous and exemplary colleague, Ahmed Saidabadi. Ahmed, you are in jail in Iran, but be sure our hearts and our thoughts accompany you every night when you go to sleep. Your name is being mentioned around the world. Your freedom and your life are important to all of us. We know how hard it is also for your family and friends. Nuestro corazón les acompaña. And as for all of you here tonight celebrating Ahmed Courage and uh, wishing for his freedom, I want to ask you never ever to forget how important your individual power or the power as a group united to fight for freedom of expression is. Ahmed, I'm Sonali, an exiled journalist and the wife of Lasanta Vikramatunga, a human rights journalist murdered by the Sri Lankan authorities in 2009. He received the UNESCO Guillermo Kano Award posthumously that year. Your example and courage are admired by those fighting for civil liberties across the world. You have been persecuted for writing what millions of Iranians think. Those thoughts of freedom are shared by people living under the heel of repressive regimes everywhere. I can only imagine your distress at being separated from your family and how much you must worry for them. I hope this award will serve as a signal to the government of Iran that your imprisonment is wrong and abhorrent and to you that you are not forgotten. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. Be strong. 